I'm doing the totally classy thing of wearing a hoodie with a scarf and just tucking the thing in so you don't, don't see it. And I have a cold. And I'm filming this before I go to a 10 hour rehearsal. Yeah! Hello humans! Welcome to Fangirl Friday where I talk about books, movies and other things that I like to fangirl over. I'm sorry if I sound congested or gross or look gross. Um, I'm currently in the middle of production week for Cats the Musical. I am a cast member in this production uh, new with Harvest Rain Theatre Company. I'm so happy because there's free Wi-Fi in the convention centre where the show is. But basically during breaks you can just like go online and be like, free Wi-Fi. But it's really slow because everyone uses it, so. Hidden gem. But yeah, um, so that's a thing. Anyway, I'm going to talk about cats. I'm here to talk about a book I've read recently, and this book is Mirror X. Before I say anything about this book, I would just like to point out um, I'm not an author. I've never written a book. I've never gone through the pains of getting it published and editing it and having to colour it and um, all that stuff that I know authors have to do. And I could be wrong, again, I'm not an author. I do, however, know that it takes a lot of time and effort and you pour your heart and soul into this book and into this project and it's your child. Um, I can kind of sympathise with that, really, not actually kind of at all, um, I just know of. I have a huge amount of respect for authors and what they do because I one day want to write a book and like what authors do is just amazing. They turn 26 letters into a book, a story, they turn them into people, they turn them into places, they turn them into relationships and I just can't even begin to fathom like how hard that must be. But while I have all this respect for authors and what they do and I understand it's really difficult, sometimes I don't like their work and I didn't particularly like this book. I've prefaced this review with saying that because I'm going to be quite critical. I really don't want to be mean. I really don't want to come across um, as unappreciative of all the effort that um, Carrie, the author, put into this book. I personally just didn't enjoy it and there were things in it that I personally would have changed. So yeah, everything that I say is just because this is my opinion and I don't want to throw shade at these authors because I know authors, like, they're amazing. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really like this book. So Mirror X is set in the future in 3000 and another digit. Um, and it's based around a young girl named Cassie. She's 17 and she is from 2025, I believe, 2020s. Basically, she wakes up uh, 1003 into the future after being in a cryogenic sleep for the past 1003 years. She was in a cryogenic sleep because she died during a helicopter crash and her grandfather purchased a stasis chamber for her to be asleep in so that in the future when they had the technology they could bring her back to life and she could live the life that she didn't get to have because she died. So she wakes up in the future and the first person she sees slash feels slash interacts with is her incredibly hot 19 year old doctor. That you can't guess what's going to happen there but we'll get to that. Basically Cassie is told that she is going to be able to uh, grow up and go out into society and just have a normal life. They just want to keep her in to like see how she goes because she's the first person to ever be awoken from a cryogenic sleep. What she does not know, however, until a little bit later in the book is that there was a great plague um, a few years after she died which wiped out half of the Earth's population and left all of the remaining females with undeveloped ovaries, which means they are infertile and cannot have children. So she eventually comes to the realization and is told that all the people she sees around her are actually clones of past dead people. So basically what Cassie is asked to do is donate her eggs from her working ovaries um, to the future, to the society, and become basically a human incubator and live out her life being pregnant and giving birth to children and being pregnant and giving birth to children so that she can repopulate the earth. I don't, I don't want that, I'm 17. And it's basically um, a struggle from there on out of where upon she things happen, she ends up running away. So first off, let's start with some things that I really liked about this book. I really enjoyed the future that Carrie portrayed. I think that it was really believable. I could definitely see it being our future in the next thousand years. 
I think the thing that really tipped that future over to the believable side was in fact the technology. Um, in a lot of futuristic sci-fi novels they're kind of like, whoa, you're just, it's basically fantasy. But this was really, it was really scientific, which made it really believable. Another thing that I liked about the book was, again, the future, but the names that all the characters had. There was a really nice blend of kind of different, obviously futuristic names and quite classic futuristic names. For example, there are Michaels and Simons, um, which I think is really nice and classic because they're seen as quite, you know, lovely names now. Um, so it makes sense they would kind of carry through. But then there are names like Kale and Travel, you know, names and words that aren't typically associated with names, but that it makes sense they would become names in the future. There was just a really nice progression. I think she did the future really well. It was a beautiful setting. It, the setting was, was great. However, some things that happened in the setting were not my favourite. Something that I really disliked about this book was the obvious romance between 17 year old Just Woken Up Cassie and 19 year old I'm So Hot I'm a Dr. Michael. Um, I didn't think it was necessary. Just gonna come out and say it. If I could change one thing in this book, it would be that. And if not completely get rid of it, I would just prolong it. In Mirror X, Cassie basically falls in love with Michael when she wakes up. His hand is the first thing that touches her as she awakes. And then he reveals later that he's fallen in love with her over the time that he's been working on waking her up. And it just, it felt rushed and unneeded. Another thing that I think could have been done better was um, the passing of time. There is a major occurrence in the book that if you read you will find out um, it takes place over quite a long amount of time but it seems to go really quickly and I remember reading that and being like whoa I don't know how far along this event we are time passed really quickly really slowly or I just didn't know when time was passing like uh, at the end when they're planning to escape I'm not sure if that happened over a week of planning over a day of planning over a couple of days of planning I just didn't really grasp that. I feel like it was overall quite cliche to its genre. I felt like I could really guess what was going to happen next because it typically followed the pattern of girl wakes up in the future after being cryogenically frozen, girl falls in love, complication, and even the complication was pretty, um, like had a nice base, but then the occurrences after the complication were kind of like, okay, yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. And then of course the ending was her running away, which is kind of like, it happens. I'd give this book a six, five and a half out of ten. Um, I'm sorry to say I probably won't be rereading it and I won't be trying to pick up a copy of it when it comes out on paperback because I just didn't enjoy it. So you guys that is Fangirl Friday for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again I'm sorry if this was odd or misplaced or disjointed. I'm just kind of out of it at the moment because cats. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. I love you and goodbye. Yes? I thought you were filming. I am filming. I'm sorry. Um, what lunchbox have you been taking? The pink one. Do you need my drink bottle as well? Thank you. This is actually extremely really dangerous. Why don't we get angry if she knew you were using this? Why? Because she doesn't like us drinking out of plastic. I'm doing that. Because apparently the plastic melts into the water. I'm screwed. Alright, I've got to finish this review, I'm almost done. Oh, but that, you're going to edit this part out, aren't you? Yeah, oh, no, I'll probably, I might put it in like the end bit. Oh, I'm going to make the, the end, end bit! Card. I might put it on the end card. But you have to go now so I can finish reviewing it. Bye.